I'm right here on the early model Silverado Chevy with a 5.7 liter engine in it. And right here, I got a gas tank strap. We're going to be replacing the fuel pump today. You have one of the strap bolts right here. I believe it's a 13 or 14 millimeter on the right side. And I got a jack placed on the closer side to the front of the vehicle. Now there's another strap right here. As you can see my finger pointing at the second bolt hole. And two torques, 30s or 25s. You'll loosen this so the whole tank can come down. After releasing a couple of the plastic tabs that go on some, some of the hoses in the back, you'll be able to see them. I'm dropping this tank. Now, the reason why I'm under this, holding it like this, is because there's actually gas in here. And I know people will say, well, why didn't you siphon it out? Clearly, because I just didn't want to. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the strap off. I got my thigh right here holding the gas tank up so it just doesn't tilt dead over and squish me. Now it's heavy but not incredibly heavy. Now as you can see here I'm kind of shimmying it down. It's getting caught up on some of the lines that are up there and I finally get it down right here. Got my moving blanket and my jack to slide this tank out from under the truck because you are going to need to remove it completely because that pump is very tall and it's not going to fit if you just try to replace it while it's underneath the truck. I've replaced plenty of pumps but not many of them are this tall. Here's a tab. We can actually knock this tab over counterclockwise after you move this back. That's what's locking it into place. So here I'm going to show you that with the flathead or something of that nature, you'll bang it kind of clockwise and it will unlock the lock ring for the tank. I'm pulling out the fuel pump here and this tank is just absolutely dirty. To not waste any of the gas, I put it in an oil pan I'm going to set to the side. Here's my new fuel pump. You always want to compare the two next to each other to make sure that it's the right one and boy is that previous gas dirty as heck so everything looks good everything's lining up i'm putting in the float lever for the gauge that tells you how much gas is actually in the vehicle and i want to snap this into place this float and moves up when it's full down when it goes empty you're going to fish in the float arm first like you see here and then you're going to tilt the pump straight up and place it in and make sure these pipes those three plastic pipes are facing the way that you see here on the video now if they're not facing that way and you go and put that locking tab back on, it's not going to work out for you very well. Now I'm placing the locking ring back on and all you're going to do is squeeze it down, lock it back into place. Of course, you're going to have to hit it with the hammer back to lock it down. That's pretty much it. You see me right here. I'm lifting the tank back up. I had it up on a jack stand just to hold it there until I got up underneath it. And this is the process that you got to take. If you're going to do this gas tank by yourself, no help, gas in it, no lift. But it's okay because we still got it done and got the customer on the road. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Share to your friends. And we'll be 